Has your KDP account been suspended or even terminated? Then you're gonna wanna make sure that you stay tuned to today because I'm gonna share a little bit of insights and advice that might help you out in getting yourself back on your feet and on the right track. This is Sell Publishing with Dale, where you'll learn how to publish books that sell and build an unstoppable brand. Make sure that you stick around to the end because I'm gonna share some insights on what you need to do if your KDP account has been suspended or even terminated. Also, you may want to take a look at one of my previous videos about how to publish books on Amazon without breaking the rules. I'm gonna leave that link down in the description below. But to give you just a quick overview of some of the common mistakes and problems that can get your account suspended or terminated, I'm gonna go ahead and just summarize these points. Opening multiple KDP accounts. You can only have one KDP account per household. There are exceptions to this rule, and if for some reason you need to get that cleared up, I would say go into your KDP dashboard, scroll down to contact us, and ask them questions there, so that way they can clear up any kind of ambiguities with you. Stick to one KDP account per household. Price gouging. Print books have a price matching feature. So in the event that for some reason you have a book priced at $8.99 and you jack it up to $19.99 and you have expanded distribution, then what ends up happening is it takes a little bit of time for the expanded distribution to catch up. In the interim, Amazon's system does a price match with those competitors. So it'll take that $19.99 price mark and drop it down to $8.99. You will still get paid like $19.99. However, if you try to go into this system and try to work it to where you get a ton of sales at a higher price point and keep on fluctuating that price, they're gonna grasp on to what you're doing there and they're gonna definitely come in and either suspend or terminate your account based on what they perceive that you're doing. Falsified page reads. Those of you that have eBooks that are enrolled in the KDP Select program, know that for every page that's read inside your book, you are paid for each one, and it also influences your bestseller ranking in the Kindle store. However, if you're trying to game the system to where you're having, say, your mother flip to the end of the book, or you're hiring out virtual assistants to flip from one page to the next, that way you can influence your paycheck as well as your bestseller rank, then shame on you. You shouldn't be doing that. The KDP Select program is there for legitimate authors that have good content that compel the readers to read from front to back and not just working the system, so that way you get a better, bigger paycheck as well as a better rank. Bonus books. Okay, so here's the deal. It's good to give your reader value and you wanna kinda of deliver a lot of that up front if you can, but the thing is, if you have bonus books or bonus content that you're gonna put in there, it cannot be more than 10% of your book. So in the event that you have a 100-page manuscript, then you can't have more than 10 pages of bonus content. Otherwise, what they're gonna see is you're trying to work the KDP Select system to where you're getting more content within the confines of the the uh, pages and people were able to read more and they get to the back of the book and it influences your rank and it influences your paycheck. All that being said, bonus books, you, you gotta kinda keep that down to a minimum, once again, below 10% of your overall manuscript. Unpublishing and republishing. Okay, this one gets a little bit confusing, but for the most part, the 30-day system that is involved in publishing on Amazon, they like to give new books a little bit of a nudge. So you could be in one particular category, and within the first 30 days, they do a little bit of a push in what's called the new release category. It used to be called the hot new releases. And at any rate, you get a little bit of an advantage over, say, books that have been on the market a little bit longer, and you get a little bit more uh, searchability and discoverability through this additional column. After the first 30 days, if for some reason you didn't capitalize on that exposure, it's going to drop off. Well, some of these people figured out, okay, well, what happens if I just go ahead and delist this and then republish it underneath another ASIN? And there was no changing in title, subtitle, or even the content. All they were doing was gaming this 30-day system. So unpublishing and republishing, not a good thing. If you've got to delist a book because it has dropped off in rank, might I recommend that you just leave it on there on the market and tweak out the product, be it the title, subtitle, the cover, or even the book description or the content, or just delist it all together because it probably wasn't worth it. Poor customer experience. 
Amazon is very serious about the customers having the best experience possible. After all, they want to make sure that they have repeat customers. They're coming time again and, and spending their hard-earned money on the Amazon platform. So in the event that your publication is absolutely terrible, it is way below snuff, it is worse than a one-star review, there is a report abuse button that they can actually select on and they can report that. And if enough people complain about your publications, then it's very likely it's not gonna just get pulled off the market. They may even suspend or even terminate your account altogether. Okay, so now that we got all of the common infractions when it comes to suspensions and terminations, what exactly do we do if our KDP account is suspended? Now, assuming that you have got a notification inside your email inbox, they probably have said what your specific infraction is and in very ambiguous terms, and they're saying that your account is either frozen or suspended, that doesn't mean it's closed down entirely. They may be just slapping you on the wrist and they're investigating the specific situation. So I just recommend this. Take a deep breath maintain poise and your professionalism, especially when you're communicating with the KDP print team or the ebook team. Now, contact the KDP team. You can do this either through the suspension email or you can even go over onto the platform itself. It gets a little bit iffy because obviously if your account is suspended, then there's no way to really log in per se. So there's ways to kind of finagle this. You can always just set up a dummy account that you can go in there. However, you run into that big issue of having multiple KDP accounts. So when you communicate with them through a new specific you know, account of some sort, tell them, hey, I'm just trying to get a hold of you because my other account is shut down. I just want to talk to somebody either via email or by phone. I would say lean in favor of contacting them through the suspension email and chances are likely they'll get back to you. When you contact them, find out why. You're gonna sometimes get canned responses. In fact, 99.9% .9 of the time, you're gonna get canned responses that essentially says, you know what you did, we caught you. And you're gonna be going, I don't know. And regardless of whether you think you know it, it's a good idea to find out why. And, you know, because you could probably be speculating about, you know, why or why not, but ultimately at the end of the day, it was their decision to suspend your account. So it's your responsibility to find out why. So you're going to have to probably keep pushing back and again, maintain poise and professionalism when you're communicating with them at all times. This is a business folks. And at the other end of that phone conversation or that email conversation is another business professional. So let's keep it on the up and up. And now find out what you need to do to appeal the situation or remedy the specific problem that you may have either indirectly created or directly done through some type of a violation. It's important to show that you're willing to work with the KDP team to resolve the issue so that way you can get on with business as usual and they can get on with business as usual and you won't do the problem again. But worse yet, what do you do if your KDP account has been terminated? This means that you can't get in at all. They won't let you in. You're not going to be able to get any of your money. You're not going to be able to get any of your metadata or your royalty or anything else inside that dashboard because they have locked you out. And you're going to know that through an email because they're going to say terminated. They're going to say termination is meaning that you're done. That's it. You're out of the game. They don't want you around anymore. They don't want your publications. Go somewhere else. And I know that's kind of harsh for me to say, but it is the stern reality that, remember, this is Amazon's game. We're just playing in it. And that's a scary situation. And this is one of the reasons why I always tell people to diversify where they publish their books, not just go all in on Amazon. Amazon's great and sure, they make up a vast majority of the market sales but there's still other platforms you can consider in publishing your books and you don't always have to take advantage of the KDP Select program. You can also think about publishing wide or even publishing through your own website. So with that being said, your account's terminated. What do you do? Okay, it's pretty much the same type of situation that we're dealing with when it comes to suspensions. And yeah, you're gonna have to maintain poise and you're gonna have to be professional. I know it's gonna be way harder because you're not just suspended you're terminated. In other words, they're done talking to you and chances are likely 
that when you reach out to them, they're gonna be saying, we're standing by our decision. So here's what we're gonna do in this order. Communicate with KDP. Now you're gonna go ahead and communicate through the termination email. And the next thing is you may have to kinda of go in slightly in the back door and I'm not telling you to create a new account for the sake of trying to publish because they're gonna catch on to you. But you're gonna to need to go into KDP you're gonna probably have to use a different email of some sort in order to use the contact us feature. I would highly recommend that you get somebody on the phone if you can help it. That way you can figure out what is going on. And much like the other situation when it comes to suspensions, find out what you did and how you can resolve the situation. And if there's no resolution, then quite frankly, you may have to consider the next steps that I'm gonna to recommend to you. And it's, it's fairly grim, but rest assured, we can go on. Trust me on this. Start to consider the alternatives. Okay, I've already said this. Amazon's not the only game in town. In fact, believe it or not, millions of dollars are made through other platforms such as Apple Books, Barnes & Noble Press, Rakuten's Kobo, Google Play, and so much more. And even self-fulfilling it through your website. There's other ways that you can make it in this business. You don't have to live and die by your earnings on Amazon. Fair warning. If you use aggregate publishing platforms like Drafted Digital or Publish Drive or any of the others that are like that, if they have a relationship with Amazon, then chances are likely they don't want your tainted work. So any of the books that were uploaded to the terminated, the now terminated KDP account, don't bother putting them onto those platforms. I know for a fact there's been some people who've tried to test that little process to where they uploaded it to Draft the Digital and what ends up happening is Draft the Digital is vetting those things out. They're figuring out, okay, what's tainted and what's not. They don't want that because Draft the Digital has a good relationship with Amazon and they're not gonna about to ruin that just because you're trying to slip into the back door. Don't bother with it. Don't go and republish things through aggregate publishers expecting to get back into the Amazon's good graces. It's just not a good idea and something I would not recommend. Start from scratch. I know, you're probably hating that advice. You don't want to start from square one. You don't want to be paying your dues all over again. But any of the material that you have on the KDP account is pretty much blackballed at this point. You can probably think about fulfilling it through your own website sales, but for the most part, I would just recommend start over. You can use an aggregate publishing platform, but let's just say you just do brand new content. And yeah, that's not the nicest answer you wanna hear, and that's not something that you would like to do, but it is probably the best solution when it comes to you moving forward in the publishing business. If this is too hard for you to do, then you're probably not in the right business. And then you have this tainted work that was available through your terminated KDP account. You can always take that, like I said, and make it available through your own website. And you can even repurpose it in other ways. And there's, it's, this is not the end of that particular content, but it's probably the end of the road when it comes to making it available through Amazon. Big warning. I see a lot of people that are dispensing advice when it comes to going back to KDP and applying for an additional account despite your earlier termination. And the whole theory is, well, if I file a new LLC, then it's a different business entity, so they should allow me in. Now, this has worked for some people, but I can promise you that if they find some way to associate you with that terminated account, game over. That account is gone. And I understand this, that sometimes good people get banned. Sometimes people get onto the platform and for whatever reason, Amazon decides to pull the plug on them, pull the rug out from underneath them, and that sucks. I won't lie about that. But conversely speaking, bad people also get banned for abusing the system and trying to work it and just trying to get it to where they're scamming the marketplace and those are the people that clearly do deserve to be terminated and not allowed in this business anymore. To summarize everything that I've just kind of discussed, here is how it goes. Learn from your mistakes. Try to figure out what went wrong and just try to move forward. Adjust your direction of your business and get it to where 
You become better today than what you were yesterday. And speaking about the biggest mistakes that you want to avoid in self-publishing, I actually have an entire video series that covers quite a few of those mistakes you should avoid. In fact, I'm gonna meet you on over there. Because the book titles sucked. You can have the most brilliant book titles, but you aren't saying exactly what your audience is searching for.